Hello you guys, as you guys can see I'm still in my Disneyland mood So Kayvon's birthday was a few days ago And now I'm finally headed to New York I'm so 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 excited I'm actually at Target I'm going to take you guys with me just to pick up a few last minute things But I'm just so excited to head to New York you guys um, But the craziest thing happened Last night at like 2am I got a text saying that my flight got cancelled And at first I was like oh my god that's so annoying But then I was like wait a second i'm actually very happy my flight got canceled because i was like last minute packing and just like running around i was super tired so i wouldn't be sleeping i'd be heading to the airport like right away and i was honestly exhausted so i'm like you know what this is perfect i can like actually get a good night's rest i can go to target and get the last minute things that i was going to plan on getting in new york because i didn't have the time to get it honestly it worked out for the better but now my flight is at 5 55 which i felt like was a good sign so my flight is at 5 55 p.m today and then the really annoying thing is though i'm going to be stopping in san francisco and then flying into um new york so that's just kind of annoying that I have to stop in San Francisco. But honestly, you guys, ever since I had kids, flight delays and flight cancellations, like they don't bother me anymore as long as my kids aren't involved. Like literally the worst thing can happen and I'll be like, at least my kids aren't with me. You know what I mean? Because that just makes things like a hundred times harder. Let's say you're like in a different city and then your flight gets canceled. Like, you know what I mean? Like that just makes things a lot harder. So for me, if I'm alone... I don't care delay my flight all you want cancel it all you want i can deal with it and honestly you guys i'm in desperate need for some like alone time i'm not gonna lie i don't want to cry i don't want to cry i actually wasn't even gonna vlog because i feel just very emotional right now but <sighs> i knew i just should have vlogged I'm about to go to Target with like tears, but you know what? This is real life. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm happy all the time. <sighs> now I'm about to go to Target with my face all splotchy and red. Not that my face looks that great anyway, because I'm breaking out so bad. Honestly, you guys, I've just been having a really rough like past few weeks. Like I'm literally using Kayvon's sweatpants that I found on the back seat to wipe my tears. But basically, what I'm trying to say is I'm really looking forward to just having some alone time. And I'm hoping this trip can kind of just help me feel, like, recharged. I hope just, like, hanging out with my girlfriends. But I need to just be done. I'm not going to get into details because I'll literally bawl my eyes out. And with the way the internet is set up, y'all are going to tell me to shut up. I'm sitting here crying in a Tesla. Like, literally shut up. Which I should. I should. Which, honestly, like, I hate that stigma. Because if you're not allowed to be upset because people have it like worse than you, then you shouldn't be allowed to be happy because people have it better than you. Then I shouldn't be allowed to be happy because like I don't have like Kylie Jenner money. Like, you know, but I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's not even like I'm just like upset at one thing. Like, I'm just, I'm just tired. That's the best way to put it. I'm just exhausted, tired. I just need to feel like I'm having fun again. I just feel like sometimes I have the weight of the world on my shoulders and there's no one that has my back but me. I'm done. This was supposed to be the start of a happy vlog. I'm going on a trip. I'm excited. I am super excited. I'm just tired. Alright guys, got the goods. I pretty much just needed packing cues, but I just didn't have time to order it off Amazon. So luckily Target had them. So I got those. And then I also just needed a travel size of my micellar water because mine is huge. I have the jumbo size. So I got the travel size. I got a robe just because I thought it was super cute. Picked up some more of one of my favorite lashes, the Kiss um, Ruffle Lashes to take with me. Then you guys saw I also got this super cute little Kodak camera. I thought it'd be fun for us to just take little pictures around the city. So glad i got that as well so now we're gonna head home and get to pack here is the mess that i need to get under control in two hours you guys know how i like to pack so like throughout the week i'll just pull outfits that i like 
like and i'll just like literally leave them guys i know this is so bad but i did this last night so don't think i'd just be living like this but like i just have like the pants i was gonna wear with the shoes and the jacket just kind of like laid out so i have an idea of what i'm packing like so yeah guys this is literally organized chaos right now like that's the fit like these are my bathing suits i'm taking like these are the dresses i'm taking like i have everything kind of mapped out just not packed up Guys, please order your packing cubes off of Amazon because these were so expensive, in my opinion, for no reason from Target. I believe these were like $30, a little more than 30, but you can definitely get a lower price on Amazon. And I do have them from Amazon, but the, over the years, like I've had them for like three years now. Where are they? These are the ones that I have from Amazon, but like throughout the years, I've just been like losing them. So right now I'm down to like three in the set. So I just kind of needed more so let's get to packing babies are right here mel is gonna help me pick out some outfits mm -hmm. my living stylist and the babies are also gonna approve my fit so let's see guys please look at our styling sessions right now mel's in the back changing a diaper these pants are way too big but you can make it work too hot i'm gonna wear a coat but like what if i get too hot i want to take the coat I could just roll down the pants like this you see guys, I have a ton of pants that I need to take the tailor, but you guys know I'm getting my mommy makeover soon. So I'm like, I need to wait till after I get my mommy makeover because obviously the pants are gonna fit different. So babe, look at these robes I got. Babe, look at this robe I got. Super cute. Guys, literally all of my pants are so big. Mel's like, just wear the coat, but I'm like, what if I get hot and I take off the coat? This one, babe, literally, you can see my underwear. Like, this one, my underwear is out. Babe, if you want to be a fashionista, you make sacrifices. You know how many times I'm burning up hot, wanting to take something off? As you have a But you can't take shirt? it off because the coat is a part of the fit. So you leave, need to leave it on. You make sacrifices. You might be hot. You might be too cold. You might be this and that. You want to get the fit off? Deal with it. You heard that, babies? Kai got a little outfit change. Wow. Wow. It's so cool, okay? Oh, it's cold. Guys, we made it to New York. Look who I'm with. Look who I'm with. Isha, I'm so happy to see her, guys. I walked in, so I landed at 6.30. I got into the hotel like 7.30. Isha was sound asleep, and I thought I was gonna take a nap, but then we talked each other's ear off for like three hours, and it's 11, so we're like, you know what, let's just like get ready and go out and explore. So we're at this cafe, like right by our hotel. And guys, it's literally right by our hotel, like around the block, and somehow we made it a 10 minute journey. But we just went in circles. Right. But I think I told you guys it's Isha's first time here in New York. First time in New York. I'm taking her New York chip. But no. <laughs> I have a meeting at 1.30, so it's luckily close by. So we're just gonna eat, go to the meeting, and then we'll see you guys later. Guys, I cannot believe this. This restaurant was so close and we thought it was so far. We literally walked, like I told you guys, like we literally walked in a circle. We were sitting in the restaurant and I looked at the other side and I'm like, Isha, that's our hotel. Like it's literally right next door and we somehow missed it and we're in a giant circle but regardless the food was really good we both just wanted something simple and quick so the omelet was like perfect um i want to give you guys a quick tour of the hotel room because it is so cute and spacious you guys so let me give you guys a quick tour so here's our view we're in midtown so we have this living room area this is a really big hotel room for new york so I really love how the how spacious it is. So we have the living room, TV. Then over here we have the bedroom. There's Isha's bed, there's my bed. And there's a ton of storage in here too. So that's my closet. I love that Isha and I are both like super clean. So like we keep like putting our things away. We don't want anything out. 
Then we have our TV. And then over here is the restroom. Here is the restroom. So the bathroom is like a very interesting shape. It's kind of like this long hallway, but that's actually pretty smart in terms of like creating more space. Then there's a super cool mirror. There we go. So I love all the mirrors in here. We have this, we have this giant mirror as well. Lots of sink space. I sound like a realtor. And then we have this shelf down here, which is like perfect for storage. And then we have the toilet back here. And then here is the entryway. I gotta do something about these suitcases. But we have this like giant coat closet right here. And then another mirror. Like this hotel is great for content. There's a giant mirror in front of the elevator stew. So yeah, we have this big mirror right here in this little seat to put our shoes on. So guys, we just got our blowouts. Looks so good. Look how good Isha's turned out. So this is like perfect. At first we're like, we booked the blowouts and we're like, wait, oh, here's our car. We were like, wait, should we like cancel? Cause we have our massages tomorrow. But we're like, you know what? You only live once. Unfortunately, there's like no easy way for me to show y'all the full fit. Maybe if I sit, you guys can see with the boots. No, you can't see it. Okay. We got the tomato carpaccio. We got the Mediterranean mezze. We got Rissa looking beautiful as ever. Monet, Aaliyah. And Isa. <laughs> oh, I was saying I can't stand New Yorkers because y'all be like, oh, it's around the block. And literally, I think we've been walking for 30 minutes. Yes. So show us how we walk in Ali. Let me see. Let me see how we walk in. Let me see. This is us right now. I don't know how they're walking so fast <laughs> <laughs> we having fun over here. She is a TikTok queen. This is literally the She's quickest. Low key teaching me. Let me tell you, this is the quickest I've ever gone through a TikTok because Monet is just like, <laughs> like all right, this is what you're doing. This they is the angle. Me a and whole day. <laughs> A whole day. <laughs> literally, a whole day. It takes me a day. Dude, if Monet wasn't here, we'd have to refilm this like 13 times. No, literally, we'd be like, no, that's not good. That's not good. Monet was like, yes. Yeah. Listen, I was going to show them. This is a good one. Y'all, we even got Mel on phone the phone TikTok. Here. Here like, come on now. Oh, here's the phone. The okay. phone. Thank you. Okay. Monet's going to show y'all how to do it. Right. Yes, yeah, right here. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's see, this is the final over you guys. Yes. Like, we ain't getting in a while, I'm gonna feel like a old lady. Well, you probably right there, baby. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's always the first mistake. Literally mine. <laughs> Three, two. Looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you. Ooh, yeah, period. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> and then it's. Looks like they could kill you. It's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Looks like they could kill you. It's a cinnamon roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Looks like a cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll. Okay, so I have to... Looks like a cinnamon roll. Could kill you. Could kill you. It's a cinnamon roll. Looks like a cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll. Looks like it could kill you. Would kill you. Looks like a cinnamon roll. Okay, y'all, we're making the talking. Okay, so come in from this way. So you're out the... 
at the door. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so when you could you hear that clap in the yes. song? Yeah. Have you seen this TikTok or not? Yeah, okay. So listen real quick. Clap. Yeah. And then I go back out, right? Oh, we stop it there. Oh, yeah. You know this dance? Okay, I'm not a big dancer, so you gotta help me out. I feel like you could teach me. Yeah. Have you seen this one? Wait, wait, hold on now. Now you want me to do a routine? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, Isha and I were outside to say the least. We literally have massages at 8 a.m. It is 2 a.m. We just got home and we are both literally exhausted, but I need to wash this makeup off and i would do anything to not have to wash this makeup off right now but yeah guys we were out late for sure this bathroom is so cute oh my god i wish my bathroom looked like this so i can like film in there all the time but yeah guys we were out late we went to dinner and then after dinner we came back to the hotel and you guys saw we like filmed some tiktoks real quick and then we why is my hair not clipping okay yeah, we went to went to dinner real quick. Not real quick. We actually had dinner for a long time. And then we came back here, filmed some TikToks, and then we and then we met up with some of Monet's friends. So we were out for a while, y'all. Again, it's like 2 a.m. right now, and we have to be up in five hours. So yeah. Using my Curology cleanser. I am going back to Curology, you guys. Like every time I try to stray away from Curology, like I'm like, oh, let me try out this new product. My skin freaks out and I'm like, I should have just stuck to my Curology. Like, it's simple, gets the job done. And my skin is always the clearest when I'm using Curology. Cause again, it's just like simple. It's not doing the most to my skin. So why fix what ain't broke? getting ready to go out so i figured i'll do my makeup for you guys on camera real quick just like a little bit but you should don't want to be on camera even though we can see your ass right there so guys let me give you guys the tea so i told you guys yesterday how we got home at like two in the morning by the time i got ready for bed it was like three we woke up at seven went to the spa we went to air it was cool the only thing is like i think if you're not going to get a massage it's not really worth it you know what i mean we obviously didn't pay like the full rate because we just went in there to like experience the baths. But the thing is, guys, like each and I got blowouts yesterday and we wanted to keep our blowouts. So like it was hard to like not really enjoy it because we didn't want to get our hair wet. So we didn't want to go to the steam room. And then I have fake tan on. So I didn't even want to do like the body scrub. So but it was still very beautiful. Like I do recommend going, but like I would go. I think it's really romantic too to go with like your partner um, and have like a cute like date night, date morning there. Um, but then we came back, we got Joe the juice. I really wanted to try their like tuna avocado sandwich that went viral on TikTok. Guys, so, so good. For a little like cafe sandwich, y'all. It was like my type of sandwich. Like the tuna was like so lemony and good and the bread was all crispy. I was in the room, like you guys know we have the living room and then the like bedroom. So I ate my food while Isha showered and stuff and I was like in the room. And Isha was eating in the living room. I was like, Isha, what do you think of the sandwich? And she's like, why do you think you can't hear me talk? Like, I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm too busy eating this delicious flatbread. Um, and then we took a nap. A much, much needed nap, guys. I was running off of two hours of sleep. Like, I just, I couldn't continue anymore. Guys, last night was so much fun. Like, I genuinely love just, like, catching up with friends and meeting new people. And that's one thing about me, y'all. I will round up the baddies. Like, I'll make sure everybody gets together. So yeah, we had so much fun. And just like coming back here and making TikToks was so fun. And just being around like feminine energy, just being around other girls. Like So right now, it's actually pretty late in the day. It's already 4.45. But honestly, guys, we learned this from our last girls trip. Like we don't book, we don't make ourselves booked and busy anymore because you know, we are, 
we are busy women. We need our rest. So to me, the older I'm getting, the more I'm valuing rest in a vacation. Like it doesn't need to be activity, activity, activity. Like you need just downtime. And it was really nice to just take like an uninterrupted nap, you know, with the blackout curtains and a cold hotel bed. Like, ooh, it felt so good. And then now we're going to get ready to go to dinner. We're meeting up with my friend Kiara. You guys probably know her. Like we, I've been friends with Kiara for how many years? I've been friends with Kiara since I was like 15. So like what, nine years? Like Kiara's one of my very first like YouTube friends. So I'm so excited to see her. She actually lives out here now. So we're gonna link up with her, go out to dinner, probably take cute pics. And that's just the plan for the night so far. So you leave early on Monday, don't you? Yeah, I have to go to the hospital in uh, the morning. Oh no. On Monday morning? Yeah. Like so my flight's at like 6 a.m. My flight's at 6 a.m. I land at um, like 7.30, 8 a.m. And then I'll just like Uber to the hospital. I totally forgot how close Ohio is. Yeah, it's so close. Yeah. The hospital's like, like, like two miles away. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. I mean, I'm sure you're good at it. If your hand is steady enough to perform surgery, Isha, a wing is nothing. <laughs> Guys, you know what Isha told me? That they literally say to, like, to the girls who are like training to become surgeons to just keep practicing their eyeliner because it helps them get their hands more steady. Like, that's so cool. No, it's going to be a surgeon. Really? Yes. You know, you might see me in medical school, Isha. <laughs> Dude, I literally have sweat dripping down my thighs. Yeah, it's so hot in here. Okay, guys, we're ready. I put some lashes on Isha. Yes, you she like did it? a great job. You like it? Yeah, I did her eyeliner and eyelashes. She looks so cute. We're just trying to preserve our blowout, so I'm like, let's use some oil. Here, give me a hand. Here. Just a little bit, though. Okay. I don't want to make it like oily. Yeah. I'm like running so low on this, guys. I love this stuff. This is the Living Proof Vanishing Oil. So because it's like a vanishing oil, it doesn't sit heavy in your hair. You put it on your hands? Yeah. Ooh, my hair is like tangled. Oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. That's what does it. Two beautiful friends. Cheers. Cheers. But I'm vlogging on my phone. God is good and God loves me, okay? We were out. Do you want to say hi, Kiara? Yes. Yeah. Y'all already know. Princess. Oh you know your God. phone is still Kika? No. Like, your phone number is still I, Kika? You like, were yeah, you don't go by yeah, Kika. Yeah, you don't go like by Kika anymore. Now it's just Kiara. <laughs> she's a grown woman now. Princess. She's a grown woman. Yeah. Yes. But literally, I went to go text you, and I'm like Kiara, princess. Like nothing was coming up, and then I found you finally. You like gave me your number, and I was like Kika. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Just I've awesome. known her since I was yeah. like 12. Like, Y'all yeah, remember, you're younger. How old are you? You're 20, 22. 22. So we're two years apart. Yeah, we're two years apart. Yeah. So I remember like we met met at the first ever beauty con. We were like beauty con. Yeah, besties. like the first OG like, one, 2016. Like, every beauty con, boom, group picture. I was 15 at beauty con. So you were 13. Literally, like I've known her forever. Oh my god. So wait, but, are you going to tell me? Yes. That? Okay, guys. Do what I love that you two stressed out just as much as me. So we were out, y'all. We went to dinner. It was fun. It was a vibe. And then it hits me and I'm like, ladies, where is my wedding ring? Yo, I started panicking. I was like... And literally, like, we just got drinks. So we're all just sitting there. Like, Isha starts freaking out. Kiara starts freaking out. And we're just, like, sitting there, like, in silence, like, with our drinks. Like, the music was not making it any better. Yeah, like, we were just trying to finish. And then the car ride here, like, <laughs> Kiara was trying to drive all safe. But, like, like trying to get all of a sudden, party. like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, like, really bringing down the mood. So in the back, I'm like, the radio's playing. I'm like, we fell in love. We're so <laughs> sorry, <started> singing. <laughs> Forcing ourselves to sing so we can be happy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we get in here, it's not my usual spot, and I'm like, guys, my ring is gone. Like, no, she jumped to conclusions real I was like, my quick. ring is gone, bye. I was, like, I was like, maybe you said it somewhere else, you know, when you're not thinking about things, sometimes you just forget. I was like, I got robbed, like, yeah, it was in my backpack. And she found it, and I told her to start twerking, because... <laughs> 
Now we're going out. <laughs> so on that note, we're gonna go actually enjoy ourselves now. Yeah. Bye. Guys, we're so lucky. There's a car rental place literally right next to our hotel. Guys, we just got the rental. I am literally driving through New York City right now. Literally, I have to take a deep breath. We're doing it. Hold on. I told Isha, I was like, no talking, no music until we're out of the city, but knock on wood, it's pretty empty on the roads. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I was telling the like guy who was helping us out, I was like, y'all, I'm so scared. And he's like, it is not that bad. He's like, if you can drive on the 405 in LA, you can drive in here. And I was like, okay, you made me feel a little better. So guys, we made it alive. Yay. <laughs> she did an amazing job driving. <gasps> guys. I'm just lucky that it was like, we started driving at like noon and it's a weekend, but I'm still too scared to drive during like traffic hour in New York. Like that was crazy. Do you know what my problem was? You know how people just like cross the street, even though like you have a green light. Like I kept on like yielding to them. Like you just gotta keep going so they don't like start walking. If you go too slow, they're gonna start walking and then like you're stuck in the middle of the road. But yeah guys, we made it to Jersey. Thank goodness in one piece. And unfortunately I started my period. Do you know what's so crazy guys? We literally like synced up. Mm -hmm. So you should started yesterday, I started today. So yeah. that was quick. <laughs> that was so funny. So yeah, we just had to stop inside of Walgreens real quick to get some feminine necessities before we go. But yeah, I'm excited to see everybody. So yeah, I didn't even show you guys my dress. My dress is super cute. It's like pink. You has her pink dress on too. It's baby pink. Team girl. I mean, it is a girl. What do I mean, team yeah. girl? It's like we're going to gender reveal. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to go inside of Walgreens. Then we'll see you guys at the baby shower. One. Go. <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. What's up guys? Isha and I are currently in Philadelphia. Did I tell them? I forget if I told them or not. I did, didn't I? So I told you guys that it was Bray's birthday and Sammy and Bray now live in Philadelphia. So Sammy invited me a while ago to Bray's birthday, but I'm like, I don't think I'll be in Philly. And lo and behold, New Jersey, like I said, is only like an hour away from Philadelphia. Like it was like an hour and 20 minutes. So we drove over here, but me and Isha are in like baby shower clothes. We're like, we're trying to go out tonight and like, we're planning on going out tonight and we're not really like dressed for the occasion. So we're like, let's stop at the mall. And we went to Zara. And it was perfect too, because I was able to get Bray a birthday gift. So now we just finished shopping and we're gonna head over to their house. Not me being in a Wawa in Pennsylvania <laughs> right now, but Listen, what? <laughs> So she had to get it. Nas comes off and goes, they got snack wraps? I know, I was like, they got snack wraps? What is this place? This is fire. Tuna salad? Okay, but I would want it with the shredded. See yes. how there's romance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fire. Oh. If you ever go to Wawa, <laughs> if you go to Wawa, you have to get peach. Yeah, I love peach iced tea. And it's two for $2. I got a little peach drink too, but I got a monster that I can get back home. <laughs> See, like, I got the peach. Peach monster. So like I said, we went shopping at Zara, so I don't really get to try anything on, so I want to see how everything fits. So just in case, I can just return it before I leave New York instead of taking it with me, you know, on my luggage. Guys, my luggage was already two pounds overweight, so I'm not trying to take anything that I don't really want or need. But guys, the first top that I just got and I tried on, it is so, so 
so cute y'all know this is like totally my style i'm not wearing a bra with it so i definitely wear something under it to kind of like give me a lift and like nipple covers but it is pretty thick to be honest it's like double lined so she has another layer underneath but it's so beautiful i love the drapes and then like with jeans or like a black top not black top black pants um i also got this jacket i wouldn't wear these two together per se but i love the color of it it's kind of like this greenish wash to the leather it got a large though kind of wanted it like big yeah, i don't know i have to look in the mirror I like it this size. Yeah, I'm actually really glad I got it in a large. I just looked in the mirror and I like how it sits and it's like a little baggy. So these two I'm definitely keeping. I ended up getting three pairs of jeans and I honestly think none of them fit. So I'm going to try them on off camera and let you guys know which one actually works for me. But I don't think any of them will, to be honest. Guys, this pair actually fits me. The one I just tried on did not fit me at all. Like I just showed Isha and we were dying laughing. I was like, Isha, you can take these if you want them. If not, they're going to get returned. But these are the contour... The contour boot cut. Should I just stand on this table and show you guys or is that? Oh my god, if I fall, Isha, I swear to god if I fall. Don't worry, we have a doctor in the room in case I die. <laughs> Here's the bottom. See they're like a slim boot cut. Super cute. Let us tell you about yesterday. <laughs> guys, we went to three different states yesterday. You guys saw we went to Jersey for Trisha and Cam's baby shower. Then we went to Philly for Bray's birthday. And we saw, um, I was gonna say Javi, Javi actually left, but Danny and Sammy. And then we drove all the way back to Manhattan. And then we also pumped gas in the car at, at like 2 a.m. Like you know the tunnel that brings you from Jersey to New York, like to Manhattan. We go through the tunnel, we take one wrong turn, Next thing we know, like the navigation, it's like showing us on top of the ocean. We get out of the tunnel again. We're in Jersey again. I was like, are we in the middle of the ocean right now? Dude, we were dying. I told Isha she's fired as passenger princess. I'm officially retiring. <laughs> Guys, tell me why I told Isha. I'm like, you can remove tumors, but you can't tell me where to go. <laughs> but she can't follow a map. I'm dead. Okay, New York has like <laughs> construction cones everywhere, so you can't even switch lanes. I think we listened to the same song the whole ride. I'm like, Isha, that's your job as passenger princess. You're in charge of ops. Boy, we had a time last night. Isha and I were like, we wanted to be outside so bad that I'm like, can we please go inside and never come back out? You guys, so I tried on those clothes from Zara that we got yesterday. So I have a few I want to return. So today's like our shopping day, like exploration day. We're going to this um, rooftop. It's called Summit One. So we're going to go to that. We have tickets for at 3 p.m. So we're going to that. And then we also just wanted to do a little bit of shopping. So Soho and Little Italy are right next to each other. Oh, I just got super. Soho and Little Italy are super close to each other. So we want to go um, to dinner in Little Italy tonight. Isha's flight is at, dude, she has to leave at 3 in the morning. That's crazy. Because she has to be at work, right? Mm -hmm. Monday morning. She has to be yeah. at the hospital on Monday morning. I was like, oh, you're crazy. But at least Ohio is close. My flight leaves at 8 p.m. And I have late checkout here at 4 p.m. So I can literally just spend my last day here, like truly just relaxing and catching up on sleep before I get back home. And I'm so excited for that, you guys. Like to just sleep and relax. That was our original plan for New York. She literally texted me and she's like, we're going to get 10 hours of sleep a night. Yeah, I know that doesn't happen. But see, that's the funny thing. Like we were saying, like we want a relaxing trip, yet we go to the most lit places. Like our last girl's trip, we went to Vegas. And we're like, why are we relaxing? Girl, what? But I will say, guys, all that driving yesterday just reminded me that I'm still an independent bad bee that don't need no man. Because when you're in a relationship, you really find yourself depending on somebody mm -hmm. else. Like, I yeah. never drive. So this reminded me, I'm like, I still got it. Like, I can still take my place, myself places if I want to. Even though we were scared for our lives, especially at the gas station. I'm like, how do you even do this? We, ha we had a FaceTime Mel. <laughs> I was like, if anything happens, babe, like, call 911. Guys, Isha and I were laughing because we're like, how are we 24 and we still fear, like, our mothers? Like, on FaceTime, I didn't tell my mom I was driving to, like, New Jersey and Philly. Like, if my mom knew I was driving in the city, I think she would have a heart attack. So, I'm like, let me not tell her, and then I'll tell her. She'll obviously see in the vlog. I'm like, yeah. let me tell her after we survive. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm like, I like that Isha understands, because other people are like, you're grown. Like, why do you care? I'm like, no, I still fear my mom. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I just don't want to worry her, you know? Guys, I am so happy I woke up this morning, and my skin is, like, significantly better than how it was when I first came to New York, guys. My skin was a horrible when I first came to New York. Like, so textured, so bad. And so I started working with this, like, new esthetician. 
And I'm not trying to like bash her or anything, but I just don't think her products were working for my skin. So she gave me like her skincare to do at home. So I switched from Curology. I started using her skincare and I just don't think it agreed with my skin. And I know you go through like a purge phase, but guys, this like wasn't even a purge phase anymore. Like it was terrible. And maybe when my skin gets like better, better, I'll be comfortable enough to share with you guys the pictures because honestly, I was like mortified. It was so bad. I made the executive decision before I came to New York because I was packing up my stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to take this skincare. Like I just need to do what works for me and that's Curology. So luckily I still had my Curology. So I just like packed that up. So I've been using my Curology since I've been here and my skin is like significantly better. Like, that's crazy. I literally do like three setting sprays. I do MAC Fix Plus, the Charlotte Tilbury, and then I do the All Nighter. Oh, guys, I didn't tell you. So, Isha booked this blowout last night. And literally on the drive back, I was like, Isha, cancel my blowout in the morning. I'm sleeping. I'm dead. So, that's why her hair looks fabulous. And I have to, <laughs> to struggle to make mine work. At least your hair like holds a blowout, though. Hey guys, this is the building we're about to go inside of. Look at that. Wow. So they literally provide sunglasses and then shoe covers as well. I'm excited. I'm finally gonna try the Magnolia Bakery banana pudding. Y'all, this is hidden. It's like so moist and yummy. If you get a chunk with banana. Guys, how cute are these apartment buildings? So we just got back to the hotel room just to freshen up for dinner and change. Luckily, they picked a restaurant really close to our hotel. So that is great for us. Um, just touching up my makeup. And yeah, guys, I need to shower. I feel so gross. And I'm excited to spend some time with Trisha and see how her pregnancy is going. You guys know when you're like hosting an event, it's like so hard. You have to like, you know, go around and mingle with everybody. That's, a, that's what always stresses me out whenever I host an event. Cause I'm like, I want to make sure like everybody's getting like individualized attention, you know? So, but it's just like literally so, so hard. But yeah, this is our last day. So I don't like to take my big camera out with us, obviously, just cause like, I don't want to lose it. And it's just a lot to carry that around. So I vlogged on my phone, as you guys saw. So today was like our touristy day. So we went to that um, rooftop, the summit, like Vanderbilt, whatever it's called, rooftop. I'll put it down below for you guys. But I highly recommend you guys do it. It's so much fun. You get like beautiful views of the city and pictures. Let me change into a robe because I can't do my hair. And like this is about to fall. So then it was right next to Grand Central Station. So we went inside of Grand Central Station so cute and then we took the metro to let me take the metro to to central park so isha rode a subway for the first time so after that we went to magnolia bakery you guys saw we got the banana pudding so so good it's definitely worth the hype um like the, when you get a bite with the banana and the like actual cake in there oh so good so then after that we took a taxi Guys, by the way, taxi is the way to go. Don't Uber. Get a taxi in New York. It's like way easier and way cheaper and like faster. Um, then we went to Little Italy. We walked around and then we're back to the hotel and we're going to head out to dinner. We're going to SDK. Okay, I'm going to leave these out. You and I were some city girls today, huh? City girls. <laughs> city girls. I just did a ponytail and then I'm going to curl these pieces in oh i knew i was gonna get my forehead did you get it yep it's all right it was a little little tap i'm still gonna leave a burn look who's here i'll show them the cute belly oh my gosh you have the cutest belly ever i can <laughs> not me can you we both got the spiced watermelon. Yeah. 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 
to make a wish too, right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. But I can't say that you have guys we've approached the end of this trip it was much much needed honestly guys like looking back at the beginning of this video part of me is like should i even include that but then again it is real life it is real emotions i think a lot of times people forget that people on the internet and influencers are real human beings and have emotions and go through their waves and getting my period a few days after made sense i'm like maybe that's why i was just like so done with everything like i was just so exhausted but even without the period like i really was just really really tired and i feel like i just needed something to make me feel refreshed and this past four days i truly just felt like a girl in my early mid-20s again and it was just so much fun but i'm so ready to get back to my kids and my home and my job and i'm just ready to get back to everything and that's the thing i think a lot of times a lot of us just need a little trip just a little just a few days to ourselves to really just feel recharged and ready to get back into routine and that's the place that i am at right now and y'all i don't know how isha did it guys like she we went out last night we went out with kiara again and we were out until so she had to head to the airport her flight was at six so she had to head to the airport around three so she was like i'd rather just go out because like sleeping like being in a deep sleep for like two hours is a lot worse than just staying awake and going somewhere so i don't know how she did it you guys she headed to the airport at 3 a.m and she is at work right now as we speak i was like girl you are my hero i don't think i couldn't do that i could not i would have been calling to work like but yeah guys it was a super fun trip isha and i were joking that we always say we're gonna relax on our trips just because we live like such hectic lives and every time we actually travel we end up burning ourselves out even more and like doing a million things because we're both like just super extroverted we love to like go out and experience new things we're both super adventurous so when i was like you want to drive to philly she's like yup like let's go like let's get some snacks and go so we always joke about that we're like we always say we need a like relaxing vacation and then we go to places like vegas in new york like you don't relax in vegas in new york you know what i mean so but regardless we just had so much fun it was so nice to meet montana and ryan it was so nice to see trisha and cam and just to see all of my friends out here like i do love the east coast and you guys know i did grow up in ohio so to me like especially like jersey and philly like it looked just like ohio to me so being in like especially philly with like isha we felt like we were back in high school again but yeah guys that's it for today's video i'm so so happy guys i had late checkout another perk of having an american express i need to ask somebody like from american express if it's safe for me to share my like referral code to the internet i don't know because I do, everybody who has the card has like a referral code to like invite friends and family. So I don't know if I like share it on social media, if that will like be dangerous or anything like that. But, but I'd be preaching to everybody in my life to get an American Express Platinum because the points, the rewards are chef's kiss. I literally had a late checkout because of it. I got to check out of my room at 4 p.m. So it's like in half an hour I have to check out. But just to be able to sit in my room and just like pack leisurely i woke up at one in the afternoon y'all like it was beautiful took my time packing and now i'm just gonna go ahead and head to a coffee shop and eat like a little i guess it's my breakfast at 4 p.m <laughs> but i'm gonna head to a little coffee shop and just like get started on this vlog and then head to the airport i feel like i lost my voice did i lose my voice it's sounding like it but guys i met so many of y'all out here like 
I didn't realize how many Kavari crew members we got in New York and in the East Coast. So even when I said that I was in like Philly, New Jersey, I got so many DMs. Like you're in my city, like, oh my gosh. So that's just crazy. I love all of you guys so much. But yeah, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again for our next video. Bye everyone. Thank you.